going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the WWE Defining Moments Macho Man Randy Savage from Wrestlemania 7. As you can see a really nice figure. On the side a nice picture of Macho Man and another picture of Macho Man. On the back we have a read up. March 24th, 1991 Macho King reunites with Miss Elizabeth after a career ending match defeat. Macho King Randy Savage showed fans his softer side at WrestleMania 7 when he reunited with his former manager, Miss Elizabeth, after losing a career ending match to the Ultimate Warrior at the Los Angeles Sports Arena. Savage was carried to the ring by his man manager, Sensational Sari, on a giant throne wearing one of his trademark outrageous outfits. Savage punished the Ultimate Warrior like no one ever has done before, landing his patented, patented elbow from the top rope. Five consecutive times, but the warrior would not be denied. After kicking free from Savage's pin attempt, he hit ma the Macho King with several massive spears before securing the victory. After the match was ended, an enraged Sari sprinted to the ring to attack, Macho or to attack Savage, but Miss Elizabeth, who had been watching from a ringside seat, immediately rushed to, sa to Savage's side and chased off Sherry, reuniting the two, bringing the salad crowd to its feet. An emotionally charged moment, Savage held down the ropes for Miss Elizabeth to exit after years of having her do it for him. Uh, now I was not even two when that happened so I don't know much about that Wrestlemania but I do watch a lot of wrestling and yes I do keep up with classic matches like that. So what are we going to do now is take a moment get them open up and we'll go on to the rest of the review so stay tuned guys. And so here we have Macho Man posing out of the packaging now let's get a good 360 of them. Really, really fantastic figure. I'm gonna say that right off the bat. I am, I am so sad. I was was unable to pick him up when he was out in stores, and that mainly happened because you know he passed away. And when he passed away, everyone started just gulping his figures and trying to get sixty dollars off of them. Oh, but luckily I managed to get this one off eBay for a really, really good price. Yeah. He does come with a stand with this paper insert. Yes, unfortunately this is paper, so it's going to get damaged. But he does come with this really nice golden stand. Uh, I do wish that w that Mattel, excuse me, not WWE, but Mattel would have continued giving the Elite figures these bases because you're paying $16 for a figure. Why not throw in a base just for the hell of it? I mean, bases actually something nice to have. I'm glad they don't have these paper inserts anymore but you know stands would be really nice for the elite figures. It's it's a shame that they axed that from the line because it was actually pretty good. And the stands look good. You can see the scratch logo on them. Of course Macho Man oh, is from the Defining Moments wave or Defining Moments series excuse me not wave. Yeah. So here's Macho Man himself. Let's get his arms down so we can go on to some of his details. Because uh, he has a lot of details, folks. You can see his hat right here. Has a really nice silver band on it. Uh, I'm going to get get those tassels to fall down eventually, but right now they're just like that. The hat does come off, and I'll get onto that later. His glasses are removable. Just a lot of nice detail up and down his jacket. Macho Man was always known for these really elegant and flashy entrances. And entrance attires, I should say. His boots have silver on them. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. But yeah, overall just really fantastic figure. I can't say too many good things about him. Now let's get the camera lined up. So we can go on to his accessories. Uh, besides the stand, he does come with a hat. Like I said, it is removable. His glasses also come off. Ah. As you can see. Uh, one thing to point out is that if you do take the glasses off, there is two holes in his hair. That's pretty much for the glasses to go into. Uh, not much you can really do about that. Uh, I guess you can try to find a Macho Man that doesn't have glasses but then what would be the point of having him in this attire? Yeah, he also does come with this removable jacket. If I can get it removed. Uh, I know I say cloth is good for a lot of the shirts and stuff but that's shirts. Uh, jackets 
I'm a little torn between whether they should be cloth or plastic, but really, really nice. It is made out of pleather. Really really digging the fabric. Uh, it's actually two different kinds of pleather. You have this really glossy pleather and then you have not so glossy almost like a matte finish but yeah that's all his gear and then we have him in his wrestling gear uh, not quite because he did wear a vest in the match. Uh, he's not he didn't come with a vest unfortunately but anyway, zoom in on his face. That is a really good representation of Macho Man. Okay, really, really digging this figure. Let's go into his articulation. He has a bald in his head. He can look up, down, tilt his head slightly. Spins left and right. Arms on a bald and go out. Do a full 360. Spin at the bicep. Bend at the elbow. Spin and bend at the wrist. And it's the same for both arms. He does have the ab joint, although his forward crunch is incredibly far. That is fantastic. Oh, and the camera fell. Oh, good thing I caught that before continuing on. He has a waist swivel. Legs go forward and back. They go out. They spin at the thigh. Uh, and I will say that the joints are really tight on his thighs. Uh, I actually enjoy that because, like I said, I'd rather the joint be tight than loose. He is double jointed in the knees. He spins at the boot. You can hear the dog in the background. I am sorry about that. Ankle joint. And pivot in the ankle. So really, really great articulation standard for elite figures. And I'm glad the defining moments went with the elite articulation because they were pretty pricey in stores. But anyway, that's much man for you. So what I'm going to do now is get all his gear back on him. And we'll go on to my final thoughts. So stay tuned, guys. So here we have Macho Man pose for my final thoughts, and I know I was going on a lot about how much I enjoy this figure, but I do, honestly. Uh, he's just so magnificent to have in hand. You know, I saw saw him in stores, I passed up on him, sadly wasn't able to pick him up at retail. And it's, it's really sad that it, it had to take him passing for WWE to actually recognize some of his talents and skills. Uh, but... By, bygones are bygones. He was a f phenomenal athlete in the ring. Overall, I dig this figure. I really do enjoy it. Uh, I picked mine up on eBay for roughly $25. A little under $25, actually. Uh, the shipping method was questionable, but at least I have him in hand, and that's all that matters right now. If you can pick him up on eBay, I highly recommend you do if you don't have this one in your collection. Uh... He does run about 25 to about $35, which isn't bad. I've seen some of the defining moments go for like $75, and that's kind of pricey. If you can get him at a good deal, I say go for it. He is w worth the money. Uh, if you picked him up at retail, you know he was about $22, so $25 isn't too bad of a price to pay. But not not much more I can say, so I'm going to wrap it up here. And this is King of Dragons 5000 saying, I really dig the Macho Man, and I'll see you later. Take care, YouTube.